Are you planning to travel to Germany soon? Here's a few things you'll want to know. But first, I'm Brandon with the Adept Traveler, and this is COVID Travel Explained. While many European countries have been eliminating all COVID travel restrictions, such as Iceland, Sweden, and Greece, Germany is continuing to keep their restrictions in place for all travelers. Like many other countries, Germany created a list of all countries, then categorized them based on COVID risk. Not unlike the previous system from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention here in the United States, most countries were deemed high risk. As COVID infections, hospitalizations, and deaths started dropping, Germany overhauled their listing. On March 3rd, all countries were removed from the high risk category. This opened up travel to Germany from most countries, assuming you meet the current rules. Citizens of countries currently under the European Union or the Schengen associated countries of Switzerland, Norway, Liechtenstein, and Iceland are allowed to enter without restrictions. However, depending on the current COVID risk level, unvaccinated travelers from these countries might have to provide a negative COVID test or even quarantine upon entering. Travelers from the United States, Canada and the United Kingdom are allowed to enter Germany only if they are fully vaccinated. This could change if for some reason one of these countries is deemed a higher COVID risk. Any traveler flying into Germany will need to provide proof of a negative COVID test taken within 48 hours, proof of full vaccination, or proof of recovery within the last six months. This doesn't mean that unvaccinated travelers from the US, the UK, or Canada are allowed entry. As of right now, the only unvaccinated travelers allowed into Germany must be a citizen of the EU or a Shenzhen-associated country. Unvaccinated children under the age of 12 are allowed entry if traveling with a fully vaccinated adult. Vaccinations are considered valid if the final dose or booster was administered within the previous nine months. It's important to note that you aren't considered fully vaccinated until 14 days have passed since the final dose or booster. So if you're thinking of getting vaccinated to travel to Germany, make sure you get it taken care of more than two weeks before your trip. Of course, not all vaccines are recognized. For American travelers, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are recognized. However, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is not. So if you received the one-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine, Germany considers you unvaccinated. And for right now, you will be unable to enter. For those in Canada and the United Kingdom, the AstraZeneca vaccine is also accepted. A possible problem travelers could face is traveling from a country considered high risk into Germany. If your first destination isn't Germany, you will need to check before entry to make sure you will be allowed entry and not required to quarantine. Did you find this video useful? If so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way, you will be updated when we post new and insightful videos. COVID Travel Explained is brought to you by The Adept Traveler, a travel agency that specializes in accessible travel. Our goal is to help all travelers, from the novice to the expert, from the able-bodied to the disabled, to travel well. Until next time, travel well, my friends.